Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. You remember the words of Bill Gaither's, Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because I live, said Jesus, you can face tomorrow. You shall live also. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know. And he goes right on to describe how God has a purpose, a plan, reason for living. Now, I, uh, I think we need a couple of three very simple techniques to put it into operation. Number one, when you really know the truth, fear is removed. The most fearful, superstitious people on earth are those that are ignorant. They don't know. People who fear death are ignorant of death. People who fear God are ignorant of God. People who fear the future are ignorant of prophecy. People who fear their sin are ignorant of forgiveness. Now here's the second one. When you really apply your knowledge, anxiety is reduced. It's remarkable what it does. It does nothing for you to write down a whole list of things on a piece of paper if that paper is folded up, stuffed in a Bible, or in a notebook, quickly to be forgotten. Truths are written to live, not just to learn. Now third, when you really love the Lord, guilt is released. There we have it. You really know the truth, fear is removed. When you really apply your knowledge, anxiety is reduced. You really love the Lord, guilt is released. Humanly speaking, this has been the hardest Thanksgiving of my life. On Monday, my oldest boy got sick with a beta strep germ that sent his fever up to 104 and a half. On Tuesday, my wife caught it and stayed really in bed for about three days. Highest fever I've ever known her to have. On Wednesday, my oldest daughter got it. And uh, she and her mom started to barf together through the last couple of three days around the house. And then on Thursday, my youngest daughter got it. Happy Thanksgiving, huh? The only one left around our house were the two ornery ones, Chucky and me. <laughs> And, you know, wor the worst thing is, <laughs> I fixed the turkey. <laughs> it just looked like a buzzard, you know, when I got that thing in there. It was just terrible. But let me tell you something. I have, I have come to realize that uh, God's Word is going to become real to me if it takes the loss of health, the loss of uh, what I call the best holiday in the year, if it takes uh, the poor weather, remember Thursday morning? The whole scene. God was riveting, driving His truth into my life where I was to say, thanks for the pain. Thanks for the loss of pleasure. Thanks for the removal of the things I've always considered essential for there to be a good Thanksgiving. Thanks for everything to be reduced to zero. That you might be the focal point of my thanksgiving. Let me tell you something. For the first time in my life, he was. Nothing else was around to bring pleasure but the Lord. And do you know something? I really believe it was my happiest thanksgiving. My most joyful. God is sovereignly in charge of our lives, but we often don't acknowledge and rest in this truth. When troubling circumstances disturb you, remember, God is using those circumstances to refine you and shape you into the glorious image of His Son. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Tranquil Words, 
for Troubled Hearts was copyrighted in 1975, and this life track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.